now to the other big story of the week in the women's game. Hope Powell has named her Team GB women's football squad for the Olympics coming up. Dan Roebuck has the details. Last Monday brought an historic moment to Wembley Stadium as the British Olympic Committee announced their first ever Great Britain women's football squad to play at an Olympics. Head coach Ho Pao was joined by Team GB chef de mission Andy Hunt and one of the selected players Alex Scott as she revealed his squad to the waiting media. Rachel Brown and Karen Bartley will provide covering goal. Lincoln, Sophie Bradley and Casey Stoney join Alex Scott, Ifioma Diike and Anita Asante in defence. The versatile Steph Horton, Everton's Jill Scott and Farrah Williams plus Chelsea's Claire Rafferty make up midfield. Birmingham's trio of Karen Carney, Eniola Aluko and Rachel Williams join an Arsenal quartet of Kim Little, Kelly Smith, Ellen White and Rachel Yankee in the forward positions. Despite not having the age constraints of picking players under 23s in the men's game, Powell revealed how tough picking the chosen 18 was. It was challenging. I think uh, the interest, obviously, in all the associations um, and looking at all the players, uh, it, it was a tall order. We had um, every player looked at extensively. Um, challenging because there's a lot of talent in this country. Not easy, but we managed to get there in the end. One of those chosen few was England and Arsenal ladies right back Alex Scott, who couldn't hide her delight at representing Team GB. It's an amazing feeling and I'm just so happy to have been selected. You know, I've been waiting months and preparing, training hard and now the day's come that I can finally take a deep breath and take it all in. I don't think I can ever describe it, you know, it's in London, part of the Olympics. It's a one-off historic moment for us all and, you know, I just can't wait for it to get started. Scotland and Arsenal ladies Kim Little was one of only two non-English players in the final 18 and Powell was quick to point out the attacker's importance. Certainly everybody who knows women's football knows Kim, Kim Little, talent, goal scorer, good technician, um, good work ethic, uh, so we'll bring added, if you like, attacking flair to the team. The side also have the privilege of opening the games at London 2012. Their first match against New Zealand at the Millennium Stadium on July 25th is the game's curtain raiser, two days before the opening ceremony in London. For us will be historic um, and a great opportunity as it is the only event that day in the Olympics, it will give us an opportunity to, you know, really showcase women's football. We're hoping it can leave a lasting legacy. You know, USA done it in 99 when they won the Olympics and it done great things over there for the, the sport. So we're hoping that we can do the same thing this year here. Hope Powell's side are in a tough group as they face New Zealand and Cameroon in Cardiff, while their final game sees them play for the first time ever at Wembley, where they take on 2008 silver medalist Brazil one of the standout games of the tournament coming out to Wembley. Having come up against a team like Brazil, you know, players like Marta, so skillful, flair, you know, can create magic. It's going to be a great game. Appearing at the Olympics is the pinnacle of most players' careers, a challenge Powell believes her side will relish. The fact that we have the Olympics on home soil and we're in it, they want to play in the Olympics. I think it's just a great honour to be involved in it as part of Team GB and one that I'm embracing, the players are embracing. Um, I'm really excited by the prospect.